Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. So now let's take a look again at the euro currency. Well, the, to speak about the euro currency is not the simple task right now because we see that the fundamental uh, factors now are pressing on the euro currency rather heavy, and uh, in fact, market really uh, shows the dominating of the fundamental moments over the technical moments. The first uh, warning sign was when the Brand by the trade hasn't started right at the 50% supports right here. We said initially we have looked at this area because we said that probably that is a nice area to possible rebound and retracement on the euro currency as it should follow by the technical moments. But that hasn't happened. Instead of that, we see that small bounce right here and downward continuation. That's why yesterday I said that, guys, I can't call you to look for entering long because. The situation now is not quite common, not ordinary situation uh, in terms of the technical approach to the trading on the markets, because now the technical uh, technicals are skewed by the impact of the fundamental moments, the overall overflow flow of money on the uh, financial markets, and the investors now is changing their assessment of the overall global economy, and that in fact now is dominating over the uh, euro currency and other markets as well. In initially, we uh, thought that, uh, and according to our weekly research, we said that yes, the overall uh, situation on the euro currency looks bearish, especially when we see this plunge on the previous week and market has formed a nice, nicely looking the bearish engulfing on the weekly time frame. We said yes, we we agree that uh, downward action will continue and this will be the medium term bearish trend that now we see currently. But our first Hope was an uh, attempt to first of all ride on some bounce to the upside, since in terms of the daily time frame, this potential bounce up could be the significant moment. And to step in on the short side of the market, that was the second stage of our plan. That currently we can't get the necessary rally to sell into, since market just is falling and falling and falling to the downside. Well, and what will happen in the nearest future is very difficult to predict. And uh, now, by looking at the first, as here uh, was the significant support area, I recall that this was the 50% support, also that was the intraday ABCD target, some patterns have been formed here. Uh, as here, now we have the major 618 support, 130 even from this low till this high, the major 618 support. Here's the weekly pivot support 1, the green line, gold line is the monthly pivot point. But you can see it hasn't been, hasn't been tested yet within the June, and now market only has tested it. And again, take a look. That is again daily oversold. Whether it nice opportunity to enter long, well, I don't know currently because, as we will see a bit later on the intraday charts, we do not have any patterns yet. We see some uh, uh, appearing of some is housing uh, on the hourly time frame, but no patterns yet. And in fact, uh, the safest way, as I said yesterday, uh, will be do not try to catch the falling knife, do not try to catch the opportunity for upward action, since currently uh, potential bouncing patrons as, as, three, as the brand by the trade, for instance, has failed. That is a uh, very significant sign, because the brand by the trade, in fact, is based on the breadth of the market. It's, it's, it's based on the nature of the market because when the market has the momentum uh, and it can't continue with this momentum, that tells us something. The such sort of the reversal, but in, in a bit larger scale, you could see on the crude oil market in the uh, 2008 when the, uh, the crisis has started, you will see the V-shape of the reversal when the mar on the monthly time frame of the market just rising to the above the 100, 160. Uh, dollars per barrel and and turns to the downside and shows the, the equal action to the downside with no replacement almost the action as it looks like here but that was on the monthly time frame and 
the uh, usually the breadth of the nature of the market could be broken when the significant fundamental factors ca came uh, come on the first st on the first stage and uh, here probably we have something of that sort but but a bit minor scale since this is the daily time frame but that is some sort of v shape without any response to the previous momentum that's really worrying sign for the any upward retracement that's why uh safest way and the conservative tactics will be do not trying to catch this potential pullback to the upside. You could do that, but this is a bit in current environment this will be a rather risky moment. But when and if this bounce will start, trying to take the short position with the direction of the market. That will be the safest way. So uh we will try to understand today whether we could uh, get some bounce to the upside, but we probably will not try to catch the position take the position on this potential move. Besides, currently I see another more interesting assets to trade. For example, uh, you could take a look at the S&P, uh, where the weekly brand body trade stands in progress, and it still has the room around 30-40 points on the S&P. That's a really significant move till the target. That will stand around, uh, if I do not mistake, 14.34 area approximately on the S&P. Just take a look. Wait a moment, I will find it where it is. Here it is. So that is the weekly time frame. S&P 1634. That will be the target. That's brain by distance in progress. That's, at, at my taste, is a bit more safer. It's a safer way to trade the, this uh, setup now than the potential taking the bullish trade on the daily time frame of the euro currency. Also, do not forget about the uh, brain body on the weekly time frame on the Japanese yen that now still is in progress and you'll see it's uh, have passed approximately the uh, two-third of the potential room till the target so that's two assets at my taste is a bit safer and more clearer setups uh, on them rather than trying to catch the long position on the euro currency currently so uh, but let's take a look at the intraday charts and understand uh, what is going on here and is it really possible that market will show some rebound bounce from this area right now on the four hour time frame what we see in fact nothing interesting so it just plunge down a significant move down very shallow retracements but they are rather harmonic so if you will uh, calculate it you will see uh, it on the intraday on the hourly time frame as well so let's take a look the equal distance right here is it right here so if we will move here well, we should be should get at minimum retracement to the 3082, 3085 maybe area. That will be the harmonic retracement to the upside. So uh, before taking any long position, if you would like to take any, of course, we probably need to see the breakout of this harmony to the downside, and that will be perfect if we will see the breaking of this tendency, lower lows and lower highs. If this will happen, for instance, if market will show breakout of this harmony swing to the upside that market usually needs to uh, uh, gravitates to double it if it will break it so I mean if market will move above this high uh, ab above the uh, 3082 area the top of this harmonic swing so in this case market probably will uh, try to double it and if it will happen then it should reach approximately 131.65 131.70 area in this case market will show the upward swing greater than the previous swing down. That will be the sign of the potential reversal and starting of the retracement. Only in, if this will happen, that will be the safer trying to take long position only if we will see that. Until we will not see the breaking of these lower lows, lower highs, it's very difficult to start to speak about any potential deeper bounce to the upside. Until I will see that, I will not even think about the potential taking the long position here on this scalp long trade. Well, on the hourly time frame, we see this parallel channel is developing to the downside. Take a look how Harmony holds within it. First of all, this is the same swings to the upside, you could see. And take a look, that low stands approximately, if we do not take into consideration these candles with the long tails, approximately 1618 of that swing. Current low stands at 1618 of that swing. So maybe we'll get some retracement right here to the upper border of this channel and later we will see what will happen. Yes, we see the signs of this casting with this MACD divergence. Uh, I'm not sure that we could treat it as the three drive pattern, but 
Hmm. Anyway, it's not very safe to take long position right here. So, and we currently, in fact, we do not see any patrons except this one. I'm not sure that we that this is really the three drive. Well, uh, it looks like more the parallel channel that developing to the downside. Anyway, uh, the safest way, as I said, and that is stands in general in agreement with our major thought in the medium term perspective, said that we probably should ready to enter shor into short, but first we need to some rally to sell into on the daily time frame. Unfortunately, we haven't got it in the beginning of the week uh, since the brand have has failed, and now uh, before speaking. The conclusion of the current video research is that before speaking about entry on the long side of the market, I need to see the breaking of this tendency and uh, to see that market will form the greater upward swing than the previous swing to the downside. If this will happen, yes, we will. We could speak about the scalp long trade till the some nearest re re uh, resistance area, I suppose, or something of that sort. Maybe some intraday ABCD target or something of that that kind, but. Trying to catch the falling knife and uh, take long position at the consecutive bodies, uh, consecutive bottoms, it will be a very, um, really risky and very expensive way to trying to catch the right position for the ending long, uh, since we currently do not have any confirmation of the potential retracement to the upside. Until market will show us, I think that it will be not quite reasonable trying to take the long position. That's my position on the concerning the euro currency. And in fact, I mostly think that it's better to wait the end of the rally, if any rally will ha happen here, to trying to take it short rather than trying to catch the scalp long position. That's very risky. That's my that's my thought on current euro currency. Well, um, think about it. Well, I don't know what you will decide, guys, concerning this situation, but. Probably hope that we will get the necessary uh, retracement to the upside and trying to take the short position. Well, let's see how it will turn. But be careful currently with this move. Uh, this is really a uh, market is showing that the fundamental factors, some other factors than the technical ones, now are dominating here. And this is very difficult to make the solutions based purely on the technical approach. So be careful and watch over this situation. Uh, I hope that market will give us, give us in the nearest uh, future the more clarity and we will finally understand how it will be better to deal with it. Also take a look at the uh, assets that I have mentioned here. Maybe you will find something to trade on these assets rather than the euro currency.